What is Emma's guilty pleasure? 400, oh no. Nope. Hi, I'm Emma Chamberlain. Why do I scream so loud? Okay, wait, again. I'm scared. Oh my god, I almost like broke a light. How old do you think the oldest person was that took the survey? 72, it's my grandma. She definitely took this. What do you think the youngest age is? Let's say 12. Average age? Maybe 16. What do you think the most common age was? 16. Let's check out the results. Okay, number one. I'm kind of like good at this, except for what 42 year old? That might have been my mom. Youngest, okay, why is a nine year old on a computer? I feel like when I was nine, I was like a computer, I don't know. But average age and most common age, I was pretty close. Is any of this surprising? I'm surprised about the oldest person and the youngest person because I feel like nine is really young and I feel like 42 is like a really like ripe parent age. But also, thank you. Inside Emma's mind. Who do you think you look like? Timothy Chalamet. Okay, I'm embarrassed because everybody always is like, no you don't. But there was like a whole month where everybody was just like, Emma, you look like Timothy Chalamet and I can't unsee it. Is that what you think the fans are gonna say? Yes, because I, I saw it so much on Twitter and because I want it to be true. So I hope that they like read my mind. Oh God. Okay. I don't think we look alike. Uh, no, no, definitely not. She's way too queen for me. I knew it! Oh my god, am I not allowed to cuss? Dang it, can you bleep it for me? I am so happy. Do you think they just said this though because they felt bad for me? The results are in. On the real though, I'm so happy that that happened. Is Emma a dog or a cat person? Dog. Ooh. I actually am stumped because I actually have a really great cat at home and I used to post lots of photos of that cat. All right, let's check out the results. Neither. What does neither mean? That I just like don't like animals? 1,531 people say that I'm a dog person. You guys were onto something. 428 people said I was a cat person. Also kind of onto something because I love my cat, but whatever. 158 of you said neither and that's just false. I love every animal except for caterpillars and that's not even an animal. Where is Emma from? I think they'll say either California or San Francisco. Even though I didn't grow up in San Francisco, I grew up next to it, but whatever. Tap, what? 96.4% of you were correct. San Francisco. I don't know why a few of you thought I was from Tallahassee. I've never even been there. New York. I guess that's a default guess. And Cleveland, never even been to Cleveland. I bet the 42 year old was like, mm, Tallahassee. What do you think Emma's hype song is? Hype song. Oh my God, wait, I don't, ooh, ooh. I, I actually didn't even know the answer for myself. And I think I know what it is. They could think the song Ocean Man. That's probably it. That's totally it. Oh, oh, yes! Wait, they, they nailed it. 315 people said anything by Casey Musgraves. That is so true. Literally was listening to that on the way here, screaming. Next, anything by Tame Paula. also true. But that's more of like my like chill song, but I'm still gonna give it to you because it can't hide me up. And then they said Ocean Man. 53 of you said Ocean Man. Those 53 of you are coming to my wedding. Although I'm probably never gonna get married. And then 23 of you said Baby Shark. I don't, that song pisses me off. What is Emma's favorite social media app? I really go through phases with social media apps. A long period of time there was Twitter and then it was Snapchat. Instagram stresses me out because you always have to be like, <laughs> you know. I think they're gonna say Snapchat. 43% of you said Twitter. That's true, but recently I've been doing less good on Twitter. Sometimes I just don't have any good tweets. 31% said Instagram. No, but you would think I liked it because of the amount that I post, but in reality, no. 19.2% of you said Snapchat, and, and yes. I think Snapchat might be my favorite. It's so lighthearted, it's so fun. The filters are just never fail to get a laugh out of me. 4.2% of you said Venmo. Honestly, yeah, I use Venmo every day. And then 2.5 of you said TikTok, and I hate TikTok, so. Sorry if you like TikTok. I don't use it, 
But I do sometimes, I do sometimes watch them though. What is Emma's favorite way to drink coffee? <laughs> Iced. Duh. I literally like preach that like there's no tomorrow. Do you have like a specific order? Oh, iced almond milk latte. Oh my God, I just moved the table. Leave that in. Almond milk latte, good. 1,600 of you said that. Next is cold brew with oat milk. I don't normally drink this, but when I was at Coachella, why does Coachella, like, oh, I don't have to talk about it all the time. But anyway, I drank that when I was at Coachella, so I do like it, but it's not like my go-to. 326 of you said that, so I'll give it to you. And last one was Emma hates coffee. <laughs> that was also the 42-year-old. Like, you shouldn't have taken this quiz if you don't watch. <laughs> I'm kidding. What color looks best on Emma? What color do you think looks this best on really, you? This is really nice. I've been told that blue looks good on me, AKA one person and it was my dad one time, which I feel like parents just compliment you because they feel bad. I'm gonna assume blue. Oh my God, would you look at that? 484 of you said blue. 381 of you said red. I, I need to go shopping. Buy more red apparently. 329 of you said yellow. Look at I do like yellow, although I don't think I look that good in it, so I'm glad that you guys said that, that's really nice. 202 of you said pink, and 194 of you said black. I think black makes me look bad and pale, but thank you. So I guess the moral of the story is we're going shopping and we're buying all these colors and burning everything that's not these colors, okay? Transmutations. What does that mean? Oh, uh, we're gonna find out. Okay. What font would Emma be? I love this question. Oh my God, I love this question. Why do I love this question? Because I don't even have an answer for it. Wait, 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 let me think. Okay, see the problem is I'm gonna try to choose a generic font because I am literally, I'm obsessed with fonts. Fun fact about me. Oh my God, is it like Havelica or whatever? Havelica? Havetica. Havetica. Italicized. Is this the right thing? I'm, I know I can see it in my head. Do you know what? I'm just gonna say like Arial. Come on, Arial. Comic Sans. Wait, honestly, like, yeah. That kind of like looks like me, right? Okay, bold. Yeah, Times New Roman, that is so offensive. Times New Roman, oh my God, there she is. It's Ariel. I think that this is me. I like, com I know it's Comic Sans. Guys, I'm serious. Comment down below who I look more like. What plant would Emma be? What plant would I be? You know, um, I think I would be like a Venus flytrap because um, I have a really big mouth. Nervous. A sunflower. That is precious. I'm really, I'm, that's a compliment. Cactus, I was thinking that people would think this because I look good to stand next to in Instagram photos, but I'm also sometimes sharp. Like, cactus, Venus. You, wow! You guys really, wait, is this rigged? Like, did you guys say like that I would be a Venus flytrap? We look like two, huh? Oh my God, is this seaweed? Okay, this is just because I like the song Ocean Man, I swear to God. If Emma was a condiment, what would she be? Mustard, right now, mustard, right now. Mustard, I love mustard. End of story. If they say mayo, I'm freaking out. I'm literally like leaving. I will literally walk out. Mustard! 354 of you said mustard, thank you. In my opinion, mustard is the best condiment. And I'm correct. That's not even an opinion, it's a fact, it's just the best. 249 of you said mayo, I'm serious, oh my God. And I'm already looking at the next answer too, you guys are whack. When have, I, who likes, I hate mayo. It literally, it makes me so upset, even if it's just thinly spread on a sandwich. Oh my God, I, I hate it. 161 of you said ranch. I loathe ranch. But you know what, honestly, you guys might be onto something here because you know, you're saying like what condiment would be me? And some people like really loathe me, almost like how I loathe mayo and ranch. So like maybe it's like, but then some people really love mayo and ranch. Maybe that's what you guys are going for here. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because I hate both of those. 145 of you said hot sauce. I love hot sauce. That's probably my second favorite condiment, so. And three of you said syrup. And one of them was the nine year old, I'm so sure. <laughs> if Emma was a cartoon, what would she be? This is important to me. Ooh, 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 ooh. DW from Arthur. Yes, oh my God. She was so 
much work. She was so high maintenance and that is what I've grown up to be. Okay, yeah, you're right. I don't think they said that. I think that they probably said SpongeBob because I feel like I am kind of like SpongeBob where I'm just kind of like really loud and like cries a lot. Oh my God, I'm so glad that I rerouted my answer because look at us go. 444 of you said SpongeBob and that's a good point. I would say yeah. Oh my God, Rick and Morty. Yes! 174 of you said Rick and Morty and that is such a compliment to me because I love Rick and Morty. Wait, what? Herself? You would be a cartoon version of yourself is what the fan said. I mean... Yeah, but like, wouldn't everybody? A whole 155 of you said that I would just be myself. I will give it to you. That's nice. Oh, Powder Puff Girls? Powder Puff. It's, I, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, this is not working. Powder Puff? Oh, I'm not letting myself live that down. Okay, 90 of you guys said I was a Powder Puff Girl. Power Puff Girl. Honestly, this is me and my two best friends, so like, the 90 of you that said that were honestly onto something. Okay, last a chicken. One person said a rooster. One person said a rooster. The nine-year-old needs to get off the computer. Mom literally needs to say after nine o'clock, no more computer. Hopes, dreams, and fears. Am I gonna start crying from this? Uh, not from this one. It sounds a little deep. Wait, I'm gonna cry from something? Maybe. Does Emma believe in ghosts? Yes. I think they're gonna say yes. I always think that I'm being haunted or being followed or being like watched. Yes, okay, so 50% of you said yes. 8% of you said no. And I'm, the reason why I just paused right there is because I saw that the last answer was she is a ghost. And 42% of you said that. You might be onto something. Like the way that I live my life, like I'm surprised I'm kind of like not dead yet. Whoever said no, that was a nine year old because they are scared of ghosts and they like do not, like that's off limits. Like mom said ghosts don't exist. So I'm like making fun of this nine year old. And I'm so sorry, like if you're watching this, I, I actually love you and I'm just picking on you like I'm your big sibling. I never had younger siblings. So like, can we have this? What kind of TV show should Emma have? Like if I were to have a TV show, I'd want to be a voice actor in a show like Rick and Morty because that just seems so fun and also like you don't have to look good when you're filming it or recording it, so that's like vibe. But I feel like they might have said a reality show, maybe. Oh, a talk show. Okay, so 48.5% of you said a talk show. I'm into that. 14% of you said a sitcom. I actually don't, what is a sitcom? Why do I not know what that is? Is that because I'm like born in 2001 or something? Yeah, it's like Big Bang Theory, that sort of thing. Oh, okay, a sitcom. That would actually be fun. 32.8% eh. of you said a reality show. Okay, honestly, I think if I had a reality show, it would be so scripted that it would be hilarious. Because you would, it was supposed to be around, you know? Last but not least, prestigious drama. Yes, I am very dramatic. Everybody in my life just says I'm a drama queen all the time. I'm just like sick of that label on me, but whatever. Would you host a talk show? I don't know. I feel like I like when someone else is hosting a talk show and I'm either watching it. Like that just, ow. Oh. No, I don't think I would. I don't know why, I just don't feel like I'd be good at it. But you never know until you try. What scares Emma the most? Mm, caterpillars. You think that's Done and done, caterpillars. I know that they said it. I've talked about it. Sorry, I just burped. Um, yes. Why do I have indigestion? I need, I need Tums. No, no, no. That was a picture of a caterpillar, 247 of you said that. And because of you, I just had to have a fat photo of a caterpillar in front of me. This definitely, I just saw the photo, loneliness. Yep, okay. What are you guys trying to say to me? I mean, it's not like false. <laughs> like, okay, so 167 of you said being alone and no coffee. Yes, mostly because at this point I have such a like unhealthy caffeine like addiction that like now if I don't drink coffee, I get migraines. Should I say that? Ghosts, I'm not that scared of ghosts. Ghosts can't hurt me, they're literally air. And like even if they like throw my like vase across the room, like cool, have fun having good aim with your ghost arm, like you can't even do anything. So like I'm not scared of that. Uh, groups of eighth graders, one person said that. This is like, why is this the truest one? Why is this the truest one? Oh my God, that is so true. I do not like mm, groups of kids my age or a little younger than me, absolutely not. Whoever said that, you are coming to my wedding also. What does Emma mean to you? 
Well, this is where I get to start crying. Oh. <laughs> what is the one word you would use to describe Emma? What do you think the fans said? You know, I really have no idea. I guess I'm just gonna have to see. 263 of you said fun. Why was that the word I was literally thinking in my head? Because I just use the word fun as an adjective every 20 minutes. So that's really sweet. Thank you guys. 137 of you said funny. Also very sweet of you guys. I don't think I'm funny. I don't laugh at anything I do. Actually, that's false. But I don't think other people think I'm funny. I just think I'm funny to myself. 136, you said quirky. I really hate that word. But I'm going to assume that you guys had really good intentions with the word and therefore, thank you. Wait, this is weird. 78 of you said coffee, as it, but that's not an adjective. That is actually a noun, but thanks. And then three of you said bean. What does that mean? What does Emma mean to you? Oh. Do you have any idea what the fans will say? I really don't know. Kind of nervous. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and read it out loud. Oh no. I actually don't think I can read this. Like I'm lit, I actually like feel choked up. I don't think I can read it. Do I have to? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna cry like cause I seriously can't. Joy, she's the light of my life. Whenever I'm feeling down, I read her tweets or watch her videos and just relax and she makes me feel instantly better. She taught me how to not give a damn about what anybody thinks about you and just live your life like you want to live it. Stop, stop. That's so sweet. I literally had to crumble it, not out of disrespect to you, but out of the fact that if I looked at it again, I'd probably start crying. That is so cool to me. That was always my goal, that like that resonates with you guys. What surprised you the most about the survey? I was actually surprised with how on point they really were. Most of the answers, spot on. And like, detailed too. Anything you wanna to say to the people who took the quiz? Every last one of you that took this quiz, including the nine-year-old, I know I've been giving you a hard time, but I'm serious, I love you a lot. Thank you for taking time out of your day to do this. And also just thank you for your support and everything that you do for me. I know I already said this, but I love you a lot. And that's about it.